Hi everyone! Today I walk you through in the new experience available in the Workflows app in Microsoft Teams. In a few steps you can create from scratch or reusing Workflows templates a new flow in Power Automate. Extremely easy. So let's get started. Let's go. Here I am in a Microsoft Teams. I'm going to click on the ellipsis button to open the new brand app Workflows and let's see the new experience how it looks. So first of all we can notice at the very top three tabs Home, Templates and Chat. And here at the very in the upper right corner you have the present now so you can easily share this app. This is the also the new capability which empower also custom apps to be shared in a Teams meeting. So as a first at glance you have a list of templates. You have the most common with Copilot. If you have a Copilot a license you are going to get a great benefit by having the AI workflows. We will see in a bit. Down below you can see also the list of existing recurring workflows created. You can find this in makepowerautomate.com for example and here you can even take some action directly from this app without opening your browser you are able to turn off your workflow if you want you can see details or you can open in edit this workflow if i click on this one for example what i'm going to do is open a new panel always reusing this app and this is the experience so this is also beneficial if you are looking to stay in focus on microsoft teams so maybe you don't want to open too many windows this is the way to go so directly from here you are theoretically able to work with your workflow this is the classic experience it's not the new ui if you want to have it you have to open the your workflow in a browser okay so here we have a first bunch of templates that you can easily reuse. We can see recap communications on a topic, help me prepare for my day. These are the most common, I have to say so, and also probably the most usable and reusable. So can you imagine help me prepare for my day? This is quite common for everyone in every organization. So you want to stay on top of your meetings, you want to stay prepared follow up on a message this is something that i use massively because sometimes i get i receive requests in a teams chat and it's good if you are able to follow up i see many people forgetting to follow up on teams messages maybe this can help you to not miss your question in uh, in teams chats then there is outline key takeaways from my recent meetings this is also nice if you want to follow up on uh, meetings summarize communication and highlight action items this is also great if you are looking to follow specific communication you can automate quickly weekly reminders and updates in a channel notify a channel when planner tasks are completed notify a channel when sharepoint file or items change it so this is the first set of templates that you can reuse if you want to take advantage of the AI workflows you need a copilot license as I said so here basically you have two options you can start from the beginning from scratch let's say build from scratch and if you click this you are going to have this nice and easy experience where you can set the trigger so this could be a recurring schedule an item and files so you can use SharePoint as a source and then you have communication a new email arrives maybe from the HR you want to stay on top of specific topics like uh, employees benefits a new message in a set in is sent in a channel so if you work massively in a channel in a channel of a team you can reuse this so you can post and get and pull also uh, new information if you want keywords are mentioned and and then you have meetings and events an event is added updated or deleted and even emoji reactions so you can more or less analyze the sentiment of something that you posted 
if you want theoretically you are able to do that okay this is the the very first experience let me show you how it works easily the the first one so let's create something interval one this could be every week then you can set the days of the week let's say from monday to friday and the time i wanna go with 10 a.m the time zone very important and this is the first thing that you can do then what is the action what is the target you want to send an approval request or you want to request a manager approval or for project you want to create a planner or create an event in outlook or a communication send a message in a channel so let's do that for example okay i selected this one now i can also change this if i want and going down i can now target the team let's say team x in the general channel and here you can type what you want to post for example please provide an update about your tasks this works like a reminder for example okay i'm saving now this new workflow and this will be of course dropped in power automate but as i said here you have also control you can for example pick up a co-owner by reusing this search text box here you have the run history you we can see that is active and if you want to add it you can click on the button and before to do it it's a nice approach to rename the workflow so because you, by default you get this this one okay post a message to general for example let me remove this and to get an update all right so i can now click on save so i rename it by more workflow and i can review and re-edit my workflow from here okay it looks it looks all good i can go for it and very easy and in a few steps we created a, a workflow using just the workflows app so this is how you can start from scratch now let's say that you wanna reuse an existing one which is this one for example help me prepare for my day this is absolutely incredible because you have already there all the information that you need you need just to select the day help me prepare for my day send me a brief in teams and this is where you can change things if you want to get notified early in workflows you can select teams or if you want to get an email of course select email accordingly you can prepare for my day or week if you want let's say day and when this should be sent at 8 a.m which is normally when i start my working day so in this way i can prepare properly my day so clicking on save now again here i have another workflow created reusing an existing template and this is incredible because copilot will help me to stay on top of my day and all my meetings so then you have an additional tab here as i mentioned which is templates but you can land there also if you click on see all you have a nice and good perspective of all flows that you have now switching on templates you have a full list of the catalog which is incredibly high in terms of numbers of templates that you can reuse so and here you can even filter for take an action get updates and schedule these are the three different icons that you can help that you can reuse to identify your template again here you have on the right another filter which identify ai workflows for example microsoft teams let me select all and ai these are all ai workflows then you have microsoft teams office 365 users you can play with planner 
you can create workflows targeting SharePoint, lists and document library and Office 365 Outlook. And then RSS. This is also nice if you want to post something in a, in a channel when an RSS feed is published. Maybe you are following an external resource and this could be a nice way to go. This is basically how you can reuse existing templates. The last thing to mention is chat. If you are used to chat massively with Copilot, then you can also use this chat. You can ask to list as I as I made in the past uh, list flows, and here I can receive the full list of all my template uh, workflows that I'm using here. You can also ask uh, to go more in detail about a specific uh, workflow. So this is how basically you prefer to work by chatting or by selecting stuff in this page. All right, let's wrap up. Are you using already workflows in Microsoft Teams? And what do you think about it? Let me know in the comment down below. If you enjoyed, please consider to subscribe and like. I hope to see you next time.